Hello, everybody. My name is Jonathan Pizzuti, and I am here with Jamie and Champagne Good. They are going to be giving their testimony at the Brookville House of Worship this coming Friday, February 19th from 7 to 9 p.m. We have been having a fantastic conversation. It has been so good to catch up with Jamie and Champagne. These are two people who have given everything to Jesus Christ. So it is going to be so great to have uninterrupted time to hear about what Jesus has done uh, for them individually and for them in their marriage and their family. Um, and they're here to share with us a scripture that is important to each of them and talk about uh, talk about why they like it. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to both of you to uh, take it away for us. Thanks, Jonathan. The, the scripture I would like to share that uh, really hits hits me in a deep way is Psalms 40. It says, I waited patiently for the Lord, and he inclined to me. He heard my cry. He also brought me up out of a horrible pit, out of miry clay, and set my feet upon a rock and established my steps. He has put a new song in my mouth, praise to our God. Many will see it in fear and will trust in the Lord. Blessed is that man who makes the Lord his trust and does not respect the proud, nor such, such as turn aside to lies. Many, O oh Lord, my God, are your wonderful works which you have done. So a little bit about that scripture, I just really feel like that it, uh, I can really relate to it because so many times in my life I've felt so far from God or that I've been trying to outrun him and many he just patiently has always been coming after me and kind of like the prodigal son but once i realized that he uh he established my feet upon a rock and the rock of jesus christ i just i love the part where it says he put a new song in my mouth because that's what my life feels like it feels like a brand new song that's my favorite song and and I, I just have a, a, a whole new passion and and many will see it and they shall fear. And uh, that's just powerful to me because, you know, by the way we live, it we bring uh, heaven to earth wherever we go and it, it shakes people. It shakes people when they see that we're, uh, we have faith in a fearful world that we have, that we, we, we our security is found in him and that our security is not found in fleeting things. So uh, when I read that scripture, it just it just melts me thinking about my own story in life. So yeah, that's that's basically what's really been on my heart right now. Give it a chance. Okay, so mine, I was actually just reading it like last week. It was one of those probably read a million times, but it just like jumped off the page that day. And it's Romans 8, 14 through 17. And it's for all who are led by the Spirit of God or are sons of God. For you did not receive the spirit of slavery to fall back into fear, but you have received the spirit of adoption as sons, by whom we cry, Abba, Father. The Spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God. And if children, then heirs, heirs of God and fellow heirs with Christ, provided we suffer with him in order that we may also be glorified with him. See, I come from a past of a lot of expectations, so to read that and see like the freedom there and that you can just come to him freely anytime, any place, is just so encouraging. Wow, that that is awesome. This this time that we have together on Friday, I can already tell just hearing you both share about your scriptures that this is gonna be a time, Champagne, to talk about the scripture that you you're speaking of the liberation that Jesus has brought. Jamie, you're speaking of the new song in your heart that Jesus has brought you. And I'm so grateful and excited that you both are sharing uh, the testimony of what Jesus has done for, for each of you and in your life together. Um, so we hope you will join us Friday, February 19th from 7 to 9 p.m. at the Brookville House of Worship. And if you don't know where we are, it's 227 Main Street in Brookville. So we thank you for joining us uh, for this preview of Jamie and Champagne's testimony. And we'll see you on Friday. Good night, everybody.